Hey, what's everybody? Uh, thank you for joining. So I've had a few requests for this game. So we'll go ahead and get this game started. I want to show you how to add this game onto your Launchbox build. And for tutorial purposes, I'm going to use the Uncle Rick build. So if you do have the Uncle Rick build and you are wanting to add on more games, this being one of them, just follow along with each step and you'll have this game running in no time for the rest of you. This will work on any Launchbox build, so anything I do, you can just transfer those same elements and whatever I do over onto your build as well. So in this build, we're going to cover how to get the game, where to put it. We're going to do our media so we can have a good theme video like this. We're going to get our auto hotkey set, and don't worry, the auto hotkey is just going to allow us to cleanly exit this game. And we want to cover a demo shooter too. You're going to go ahead and ex and uh, and update our demo shooter too. If you haven't in a while, there's been a recent update over the last couple of days, and it's going to take take like two seconds to get that updated. Okay, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so first off, in the link below, I want to have a mega link. It's going to be for the media as well as the auto hotkey that we're going to need. And it's going to look like this. Now, if you do have issues with downloading the link, I would advise try a different browser. I believe when I use my Chrome browser or my Internet Explorer browser, or I guess Edge is what it's called now. I have problems where it's not going to download it. So if it doesn't work on one browser, just try another one and see if that'll work. And if not, uh, let me know and I'll reshare a link in the comments for you. But anyways, this file is going to cover our theme video, our 3D box art, our clear logo, and fan artwork. Now, the reason why you want the fan artwork is whenever you start this in big box mode, it gives you a nice little loading screen. So that's where those come from. And this is going to be our auto hockey script right here. Now let me pull it up so you can see it. And not much going on here. All this does, it just lets us close the Wild West shootout. There is a way within Demon Shooter to do it, but I prefer this method. It's a much more cleaner way of closing it. Don't let the auto hockey scare you. It's real easy. I want to show you where to put this. Okay, and the uh, best place I found to uh, where to look for to find this game is here in the L Light Gun Lunatics website. So, of course, there's a link up here. It is a good guide for just trying to locate anything that you're looking for. Uh, we're looking for the Wild West Shootout. And you're going to have two files comes up. There's going to be the Wii version and the arcade version. So, in this video, we're going to do the PC game. And then we'll come over here, and you can pick either one of these. I just use the archive.org link. Now, advise is going to go for a straight download, but it might take a while. So you may have a fast download time, and it might be might take you a little while longer. It looks like I'm going a bit faster on this one, but give yourself about 15 to half an hour for this to download. It's just it's just a slow download. Okay, and while that is downloading, we can go ahead and get LaunchBox prepped up for the game. So go to your Techno Parrot or just wherever you want to put it. You can put it under PC games as well. Right click, hit add, and we're going to type in Wild West Shootout. Okay, now hit your search for metadata. Now, it, you may get a screen because I got this the first time I ran this of the launchbox media update database just hit okay and let it update it you always want to do that because it just gives a better chance to pull more media out so this is what we want hit click now if your platform changes to arcade sometimes it will let's put it right back to techno pair or just wherever you decide to put this game come down here to your media and we're going to hit download media just hit, make sure all that's checked and over here in Emu movies you're probably not going to pull anything unless it's arcade or consoles Emu movies really don't pull much and hey we got lucky so we got a few things here um, I would just click on one of these and always go with the uh, highest quality now this is going to give you a basic video snap so you can always use that for something else down the road or you can use it for this as well let's go to images make sure we have our images 
So you have Wallace Shootout. I don't think that looks that good. I prefer to use the one that we have inside our clear logo base. Okay, we already have a 3D box art. We got some flyers. Okay, so we're set up here. Uh, go ahead and open up the media folder. And let's go ahead and start dropping things in. We'll start with this right here. It's going to be our background fan art. All right, so while we shoot out three is a fan art. This is our theme video. So you're going to get an error if you drop that like I just did. Okay, now it's not going to auto populate to what you want it to be. So up here in the upper right box, you want to hit front and come down to background images and go to fan art background. All right, and now we have that changed. Let's see, while we shoot out, that, that looks a bit more better. It looks a bit more high depth, and that's what you want, just a better depth, the better. We want to change that to our clear logo. And then come through here and delete our other clear logos because we don't want any of these to override what we just put in. Okay, and then next we have our Wild West Shootout. So this is a little bit cleaner than what we already have in here. So let's go ahead and replace that. Change that to 3D box images. Go back to where our original box is and we're going to go ahead and remove that. Now go to videos and we're going to place our video. Okay, and that's going to read as well as shootout 01. Just drag and drop it and change that video snap to theme video. Uh, theme video is always going to be the priority one. So if you'd rather have the video snap, then you can call this one video snap and that one theme video. Go ahead and hit your OK. And that's going to save and put our media where it goes automatically. Now you come back over here and you can see we have our theme video and everything else going on. Go ahead and right click this and we're going to set our uh, demo shooter, anything else that we need. So come to edit metadata, come down to, uh, okay, so we're going to come down to emulation or launching and we're going to uncheck this because we don't want TechnoParrot to run this game. This game is going to run as its own standalone. Okay, and we want to come up to additional apps, go to add application and we want to set up our demo shooter here. So let's go ahead and type in demo shooter or just whatever you prefer to name it. The name in this part really does not matter. But the application path does, so we're going to go to our demo shooter and just use the uh, latest one that we have because we're going to come back and change this anyway. So well, it doesn't matter which demo shooter you use. We'll go demo shooter v12. And we want to use the regular demo shooter. Now, some applications will prefer you to use the x64, but for this game, we just need to use the regular demo shooter here and hit open. Okay, now go ahead and go to your send in wiki. So I've been send in wiki.org, wiki whatever. It doesn't matter what it gives you to off the bat. We're going to scroll down to the left hand bar and all the way down to all pages. And we're going to pull up bottle with shootout right here. Uh, we don't need any of this. The only thing that we need out of all this is this line right here where the uh, dash target coastal space dash rom ws that's the only line we need out of this let's go ahead and copy that now we're going to go back to our launch box and finish setting this up and that line is going to go under the application command line parameters and go to paste make sure it's dash target equals coastal and there's a space between these and then dash rom equals wss hit automatically run before main application and then we want to hit ok Okay, now hit OK to close all this. Now, if you notice, we haven't set our ROM yet for this. So let's go back. And by this point, your ROM should be ready ready to set. It should finish downloading by this point. If it's not, just wait till it is. So just go wherever you have it saved. I just have mine going to regular downloads. And it's going to come in a WinRAR file. So if you don't have WinRAR, you know, get it. You always want to use all messages. doesn't matter. Grab the file and just pull it out. 
All right, and whenever you're done, you're going to have a file called WWS. Go ahead, open it up, game, and it should look like this. So go back to the WWS folder. Go ahead, cut it or copy it, and we're going to move it into our build. I'm using Uncle Rick and Leash. Of course, this will work with any LaunchBox build. And go to your games folder. Yeah, I'm just going to put it right here in one called Techno SA. I call it Techno Standalone. But you can put it with your regular Techno Parrot Games too. Just wherever you want to put it. Where you put the game, it does not matter. All right. So I'm just going to paste it here. Okay. Now there's going to be a couple more things that we're going to need to do. Um, one, we are going to go and update our demo shooter. So go to Rick Unleashed or your launch box. Uh, go to your demo shooter. We're going to update demo shooter V12. Now we're going to go to our demo shooter website. Uh, just type in demo shooter GitHub and you're going to get these two links. Uh, it doesn't matter which link you click on, but we'll just do the releases. Now on the far left, you're going to see the, actually right here is where you want to go. Well, let's say you come to this one right here. You're going to click on the uh, demo shooter under popular respiratories. And then on the far right, you want to see the releases. So let's click on the latest. And this is what you want. And it tells you what's changed. Uh, you want the uh, 2.9 zip, or that's the latest as of the time of this video. It may be a later version. So if it is, just get the later version. Okay, it's done. Go ahead and open your folder. Go ahead and open this file up. And they're just going to move all these files into our existing demo shooter. So open up our demo shooter folder. And we're just going to overwrite everything. Drag it and drop it. It's going to ask us if we want to replace it. Hit yes. All right. Now we have all this replaced. Your demo shooter is updated. You'll want to go to the Unity folder and go to Always Shootout. All right. Then you want to click on all these files here. Right click it, hit copy. And we're going to need to go to our WWS folder into the NTFS game. And we're going to right click in here and drop these files into here. Replace files in destination with the same names. All right. Now we're going to need to configure our options for this game. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and... Okay, this game's already moved. I forgot we done that. So, come down here to Wild West Shootout Loader, and you want the application, go ahead and click on that. And here we can set up our options. Um, I prefer not to load the send order through this. We're going to use Reshade instead. Reshade's actually going to give us a couple more options that we can use to kind of brighten up the game and make it look more appealing. But you can leave that on if you want. Again, I prefer to use the reshape method, which we are going to use. Okay, here you can set the resolution of your monitor. I'm using a 1920 by 1080, but just whatever resolution you're using, make sure you select it. Uh, full screen, low demo shooter. So everything here looks good. And hit save. Okay, now go ahead and minimize or close these windows. I'm just going to minimize all these. I'm going to close that one. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Right click it. We're going to go back to edit again. And we're going to go to our launching. So you want to browse and just find that game. So go to the root of your launch box. Go to games or where you put the game at. I put mine techno SA. WS, click on that, and you'll want the uh, cowboy 
application. It should be sitting at 17772 KB. Hit open. Hit OK. OK, now that's set, let's go ahead and test this. All we're doing right now is just making sure the game launches. So let's go ahead and click on it. Double click. You may get this message right here. Um, if you leave that checked, it's always going to pop this up. So I just uncheck it and then hit run. This game's fine. There's no viruses or anything that comes with it. Okay, and I can tell the game is running good. I can use the sending borders if I want to. But again, we're going to go the reshade route. And trust me, you'll want to go this route. Okay, her thing looks good. Uh, go ahead and exit this game. As of right now, you can only exit the game with Alt and F4. So just hit Alt and F4. And that'll get you out of the game. Okay, now first let's go ahead and set our auto hotkey. So this will enable uh, escape to exit the game for us. So just edit the game, go edit metadata, additional apps, hit add application. Application name, I just put exit script. Again, name does not matter whatever you name it. Application path. Now you want to go to start with the root of your build and you're going to go to a third party folder. You're going to go to auto hotkey and you're going to hit the auto hotkey program right here and hit open. Uh, make sure this is checked. Now, right here is the important part. This is what runs the actual file that we have set for this. So this is what we're going to run. So just find the location of that. Okay, and actually what we should have done this first, but we can still do it now. Open up the WWS media folder because that's where this auto hotkey is. You can copy it or cut it. I'm just going to copy it. And we want to place it with the game. So go to your, your launch box build. Find that game again. So mines and games, techno SA. WWS, and you're going to put this in the same location as where the game is, which is right here. So we're going to right click, hit paste. Okay, and now that we're here, right click one more time and go to copy as path. Minimize or close that. Right click here, paste, and go ahead and delete the C and the colon. All you want is the forward slash, um, your launch box build name, and all that. If you don't do that, that's going to tie this auto hotkey to whatever drive it's on. So if you copy your build over or you put on another drive, it's, it's going to break the hotkey. So that's why that's important. Hit OK. Hit OK. All right. Now let's go ahead and open this up. And see if our hotkey works. All right, so game's going. I hit escape. The game's closed. So now we can just close the game with our escape button. Okay, next we're going to set up our reshade. So if you already have your reshade program, which is basically just a shortcut to the reshade site, you can use it. I prefer to always just go to reshade side itself because it always stays updated. And it's like a really small file. Um, I use reshade to 6.2. Uh, I never do the full add-on support. I'm sure that has some perks that I'm not aware of, but this one gets the job done for me. All right, now you just go ahead and open the folder where it's at, and we can start our reshade. Uh, browse and you're going to want to find the executable of the game so just find your game take no sa ws open that and you'll want the cowboy one right here it has 17772 kb hit open hit next okay now here is where 
it's going to be a little bit tricky for some people direct nine x9 is going to work and for others 10 11 12 is going to work so I'll start with this one first and if it doesn't work we'll go back and change it which i'll show you how so we'll hit next just make sure sweet fx is checked hit next all right now we're done here uh, go ahead and leave this up. Just open up your launch box and go ahead and start the game. Now, if it's hooked correctly to your game, you're going to get a message on the upper left. It's going to say reshade something, something, something. And I did not get that. So I want to exit out of this game. And if you didn't, come back to your reshade here and we're going to hit back. And then we're going to hit next again. We're going to go through this process. Um, go back to the direct next nine that you tried out. Hit next. And hit uninstall, reshade, and effects. This is going to give you a clean start. And we're going to start over on this. So I'll just go back. Then hit next. And we're going to do X, 10, 11, 12. We're going to do the same thing. So we get FX. Hit next. Finish. Start the game up. Okay, and now on a second try, we have our reshade. So let's go ahead and get our border set up. Just hit your home button, which is the home button on your keyboard. Uh, hit skip tutorial. Just follow me. It's the only tutorial you need to know. Hit your border button. Oops. Be, yeah, the border, not before button. Now you're going to get two black lines. Don't worry about that. Change that to white. On the size, experiment where you want it. Mine's usually good between about 10 to 15. I think for this game, 13 looks good for me. And then you can hit your home button, and that's it. Now, this next part is why I wanted to use Reshade. Look at the game and kind of how it looks. It looks good, but let's go ahead and make it look a little bit better. So let's hit home. And the two ones I like to click is Technicolor and let's look at the difference right there which is a lot more appealing in my eyes but Technicolor 2 and HDR and I think the HDR kind of evens it out a little bit so now we play like this with reshade or we can play like this without reshade so if I'm going to play like this, there's a steps on how to do it. For me, I'm going to leave it like that. I think that looks great. Now hit home. I'll magically save everything. Now we got our border up. Let's go ahead and get our guns going. And all you have to do is point and click at the screen. So I want to shoot with my player two gun. So it's on player two right here. Let's get my player one going. And really at this point, you're you're good to go. But we'll get into some options. I'll show you what you can change. Yeah, so off the bat, the uh, game is set in what's called a kids mode. So the kid mode just gives you automatic reload. It sets the game on easy and has the crosshairs on. So if you want to play that route, hey, that that is fine. Some of y'all want to. But if you want to change that, you're going to hit the circle button on your keyboard. My apologies. You'll hit the zero button on your keyboard. Give me a second to remember how to do all this. Okay, so A is going to move the settings up for you, and S is going to be your enter button. So you want to come down to gameplay settings, and then you'll have this whole list of options here. Uh, I like my free play on kids mode. I prefer the game a bit tougher, so I wanted to put it in general mode. Now, as you can see off the bat, a few things have already changed, so the game went into hard. And very difficult. <laughs> Let's see what options kids mode has. So we can go in normal. So I'll leave that in normal right there. 
level clearance, manual, task mode. You can change that how you want. The uh, ballistic switch, it just shows where the bullet's going. So if you want to, makes it a little bit easier. Kind of like how the uh, laser side is. So you can leave it on or off, want to turn mine off. Your crosshair switch, if you want them on, you can leave it on. If you don't, then you can just turn that off. Um, running auto fire, actually like to reload, so I want to turn that off. Unlimited bullets. It's up to you how you want it. Make it a little bit more challenging. All right, everything looks good. We'll go back. Then you got some more basic settings here. And there is lots of you can play with here. But hit my S button to exit. And let's go ahead and try this again now. Okay, now as you can tell, I don't have any crosshair showing. So I'm going to tell it's already going to be a bit trickier to play. All right, let's go ahead and exit out of the game. And everyone, that is it. So that's how you get Wild West Shootout set up. I'm going to go ahead and jump into big box mode if you're running that. And show you that everything is already set there as well. If the clear logo doesn't show up, then you may need to refresh your image. But we'll see when we get there. It should be fine. All right, and there you go. While we shoot out, we have our theme video. We can get into it, and there's our fan art for the background. There's our reshade coming up. And everybody, that is it. Um, hope you got this game going. I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Um, anyways, thank you very much. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. And as always, if you learn something from this, you find it informational, do like, subscribe, share, you know the routine. Anyways, I'll check you out all on the next one. You have a great weekend.